for a young prince. An elephant graveyard? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, and it's no place for a cup. All those rotting bones, burning pools of oozing mud. Rotting bones? Oozing mud? Promise me you'll stay away. I hate it so much. Rotting bones? Oozing mud? <laughs> Oozing mud. Promise me you'll and remember. Yeah. It's our little secret. They're just constantly fucking. Your Majesty. <sighs> yeah. the The manipulation to the vocals is just so so fucking constant. It's so obnoxious. And their sentences. When's it coming out? Uh, twenty thirty two. Is. How long is the full review going to be? About uh. Two weeks. It's gonna be a two week long video. Yeah, I don't think I have called out a director by name this many times before. I don't know why. Um, he needs a good talking to. <laughs> yeah, he does look kind of fucking baked. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to say the name John. John! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just some funny pictures. Does it still feel like you're editing Kimba still? Does it still feel like I'm editing Kimba? Yeah, this is like, I'm, I'm like, I'm so unmotivated to, to work on this particular video. It's not even like, oh yeah, I'm unmotivated to work. It's just this particular fucking video I feel like I've been doing forever. And it's just like, I'm not even, I'm not at the end of it. Maybe if I was closer to the end of it, I'd pick up steam. But it's, yeah, it's, I'm trying. I'm really, I'm really trying here. Can you set it on hold? I watch your vibes no matter when they release relative to the cinema showing. Can I set it on hold? Um... <sighs> I mean, like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Like, uh, I'm going to keep keep working on it and see what happens. It's not going to be out this month. Like, yeah, it's. There's no indication that these characters have even seen each other before. What's funny is that, like, half the characters in this movie call him Zazu. <laughs> And the only ones that call him Zazu are James Earl Jones and Shahadi Wright Joseph, who are the only two people that have been involved in previous productions of The Lion King that had nothing to do with John Favreau. So those were the only two people that pronounced the name right. And everybody else who whose introduction to The Lion King was John Favreau pronounces the name wrong. Hmm, suspicious. Zazu. Zazu, not... You know, it's supposed to be Zazu. And then that roar kind of caps it. So now you've really stacked up all, you've moved all the troops into place. <laughs> this this final motion he does. Place. <laughs> it's so weird. Place. I don't understand. Yeah, boomer dab, maybe. Place. <laughs> it's... it's it, it feels so unjustified. Like, everything else I get, that, he's, like, communicating. Now you've really stacked up all, you've moved all the troops into place. That last one, and the head tilt, and everything is really strange. Place. I think I can get some of the shots of them on, like, VR headsets. It is kind of funny. <laughs> Just saying, like, John and his team, and then cut to, like, a bunch of boomers in HTC vibes. <laughs> just, just like it would be funny if this was like them going through the script. Like we read the script in VR. Oh my god! See where I am. This, this shot. This is a still shot of the TV. I'm, I'm zapping everybody. Oh my god! I could totally edit some like furry porn in there or something. Oh, all right. My motivation is back momentarily. Maybe I just needed a bit more alcohol. Maybe that's what I was missing. <laughs> I let, I let, look, look at how angry he gets while his mouth is like, his tongue's still out. Oh, that's some great animation. 
<laughs> he's like so he's like so comfortable he's like he's gonna taste delicious and then he gets interrupted the the amount of expression on these characters is just so good to 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 throw that away to completely fucking throw that away to literally, literally just throw all of that away is just in absolutely fucking insane. Words they speak to each other. <laughs> That's a good visual. And they have a little scuffle, but what John does not realize is that the way this scene <laughs> does not realize is. is But what John does not realize is that the way <laughs> he has so many stupid fucking <laughs> See what's weird is like the color change happens in the Blu-ray too. It's just so weird. I always assume they fixed it because I never notice it on the Blu-ray. But I guess that's one thing they didn't fix, actually. <laughs> the music's so good. Just, just, just like the lighting differences in this laser disc capture are so fucking nostalgic for me. Like, it feels like a fucking 90s television. Father. Oh, what? Don't leave me. Oh, weird. Which Blu-ray edition is that? Sorry, I'm just like, this is... Uh, this is a whole other rabbit hole. <laughs> um, yeah, apparently... October 2011, in the Blu-ray release... It looks like this cloud formation is literally just missing in the Blu-ray. But I'm pretty sure it's brought back. Like, the Blu-ray that I have, like the 4K edition, pretty sure they made some fixes to that. Pretty sure that they... Um, yeah, so it's here again in this Blu-ray edition. Although... I think this Blu-ray edition has an issue of yeah it does. See see look look at how look at how his his eyes are yellow and then you go a frame forward and his eyes are white. Yeah, they're white for a second and they go back to yellow. That's an issue with this one. And this is like this is like the 4K transfer. They turn like white for a second for no reason. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is up. Like, I I don't know what their process is. Like, that's. How can I go back? Cause I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure if I were to look at like the laser disc, there wouldn't be that issue. But let's find out. Maybe it's an issue there too. I never know. How can I go back? Oh, it's an issue there too. Okay, it's consistent with the original. Wow, I thought that was like a Blu-ray thing. Never mind, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy that, like, yeah. That what you have become in the circle of life. How can I go back? Whatever. It's not very important, is it? <laughs> um, so yeah, apparently Rafiki and Simba are redrawn. Comes to the Lion King, the permanent changes. Yeah, yeah, here, here they're redrawn. Gives them some motion. Yeah. Permanent changes that exist don't really ruin the film for me. I cannot tell you how thankful... Permanent changes that exist don't really ruin... Yeah, they're literally just a still frame there. Permanent changes that exist don't really ruin the film for me. It's so weird. It's so weird that they do those things. It's so, like... Li like, even... Even with these changes you make every five, ten years, 
the movie's still not perfect. Like I just showed you that fucking coloring issue with with Simba's eyes. Like you didn't fix that. I noticed that. Right? So Just have one edition where you fix fucking everything. And then allow me to watch the original in case I want to. Exist and I can decide which one's the better one. As a viewer. As a customer. I guess it doesn't look very different at all. Over the word sex being spelled in the dust for one frame and spelled in the dust for one spelled in the dust for one Tis fine. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch was supposed to be... They crash into the t Twin Towers and yell Allahu Akbar. And then they decided that was insensitive. I still can't believe this this video has the word daddy misspelled, and it's been up for three years. Dad C. Derek. What the fuck? Example of a why change. But the comparison should be overstated. In an interview with Is Lord this person's entire cha Oh my god, they are literally just a stormtrooper. They entire their entire channel is Star Wars. Whoa. Their entire channel is Star Wars. Hugo Awards finalist for Oh my god. Every time I hear about a Hugo Award nomination, I am less impressed with the Hugo Awards. Oh, wow. Just like entire shots that are cut out, but it's like, I guess that wasn't ever in the original. These dumb shots. Oh my god. That, f that f fucking dinosaur for no reason. Oh my god. I'm like... What the hell, George Lucas? <laughs> there's people, like, every once... I don't... It's not a lot of people, but there's enough people commenting that, this that it gets me a little pissed off. People saying, like, Adam, you sound so entitled when you talk about Evil Dead. God, there's, like, better things to care about and stuff. Like, like I shouldn't... I shouldn't have any opinion on it. Like, I shouldn't be upset that I can't buy the film that I want to buy and when I do buy it thinking it's the movie that that it that I think it is, you know, that it's not the same movie and I don't have the same experience watching the movie. Just like you sold me a product that wasn't the product you told me it was going to be. Especially especially with the the uh German edition where it specifically said, like, uh, oh, yeah, we have one version that's uh, remastered or whatever, and we also have the original. But the original one wasn't even the original. They still have those edits in the one that they called original. That's false advertising. It's false advertising. It affects the experience of me watching it. I wouldn't give a shit if, I, if, if the experience of me watching it wasn't affected. Like I like I said, like these changes in the Lion King, I really do not give a single shit if Scar tilts his head a little before the fade. I really do not give a single shit if there's slightly more motion to Rafiki and Simba when it zooms out in this shot. This one's a little questionable because it's so confusing why they did it. The other two, it's like, okay, I kind of get why you did that. Even so, I would prefer watching the original film the way it was made, but it doesn't ruin it. The Evil Dead shit, it ruins it for me. It really, it's not the same movie. It's like, you, the commentary tracks are obsolete. Bruce Campbell won an award for the commentary track. He won an award for it, and now it's non-applicable. You can't even use the commentary track anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. You can't use it. It doesn't apply to the film because the film's different and what he's talking about in the commentary track that he won a fucking award for doesn't exist in the movie anymore. I think that's a completely legitimate complaint. Just like, it's a complete misunderstanding of what the film is. <laughs> 
You literally changed a fucking character. What the fuck? Oh my, this is so embarrassing. What the hell, George? Like, it, this is so stupid. This fucking idiot hanging out back there. Like, okay, so why didn't you change this guy then? Why didn't you change this guy, George? Because that looks like a fucking puppet. <laughs> why don't you change the, this guy that looks like a puppet? Why didn't you? Why don't you remove this entire shot? This guy looks like a puppet. There's so many characters that look like puppets, George. Why do you change some of them? Why do you change this one? I can't wait to see Hans shoot second. By Hans, I mean Han. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fuck off then. <laughs> Death and Marimba seem to just go together in my life. Oh, where's Han? Isn't that this scene? I guess is isn't in this video. Guess I might as well just download that fucking video. Never heard. Yeah, like, I... I don't I don't understand how this is not something to complain about cuz I just want the original f I want to watch the original movie in HD. And like every year that goes by of them not selling the original film in any way makes the original film super fucking rare and difficult to get. Like yeah, I have my DVD. What if somebody else wants one? What if somebody else wants to download it and the only digital versions available are the new bullshit, right? It's so stupid. Preserve film. Film history is important. Thinking. So Zazu gives the morning report and it's just a bunch of stupid John Oliver bullshit. And the like, original film... I can, I, can, I can get more specific about it, but it's just like... How long do I want to be spending here? Because, like, now I'm just realizing, like, listen to the first thing that they say after being told to do the morning report. So we got Zazu, who's like, well, because he's, like, very excited to talk about it, right? Well. Right? That's literally the first line. Fire away. Well, the buzz from the bee. Yeah. So he's, like, he's, like, super into it. And then you got. You have the morning report. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Like he's being commanded to. He doesn't give a shit. The character doesn't give a shit. He's being commanded to do it. Yes, sir. Like what is? It's just why change that? Sire. 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 What is happening? What is this, like, whole movie supposed to even be, you know? Like, what, is, what the fuck is this movie supposed to be? It's so weird. A cash grab. It's just a weird attempt at a cash grab anyway, even if it's just a cash grab. It's like, no child wants to see a character that looks like this in a movie. Zero children want to see a character that looks this fucking scary. Like, no, but nobody wants to see that. So. It's just, it's a really weird approach. When kids got scared at the fucking animation in Happy Feet. And that was more anthropomorphized than anything in The Lion King 2019. I am kind of interested in, like, the algorithms for animation that influence where motion blur is placed on a shot. I think it's just a speed thing, but that it's that's kind of interesting. Just to help create the illusion because if every frame of animation had zero motion blur, then it wouldn't look as convincing. This dumbass smile. It's fucking stupid ass. Stupid ass smile. This reminds me of the the meme from years ago. It's just a picture of some like tiny fucking chihuahua 
not Chihuahua, sorry, a Shih Tzu or whatever. And he's given this dumbass grin. And the caption is like, every fucking day this <laughs> sits, stares at me when I come home and gives me this stupid grin. I think it was like a 4chan post or something. I'm gay. I get to say that word. Sorry, Twitch. <laughs> Man. That's very just like, no, like, I, I didn't even have to. Like, it was just a guess. I was like, man, because lo looking at, like, the impact here. You got, I'll say it again. Listen to the, never... the music here. It's... it's the news. So much music. And then I was like, oh, I wonder what the original has. Probably nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. That's very good. It doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. It's just so overcompensating. Where's that this noise here? Is that Simba or Mufasa? The, the creator of Kimba is known as Asamu Tezuka. <laughs> the line delivery here is... He's supposed to say, where's Sarabi? But he says, where's, where's Sarabi? Where's Sarabi? Where's Sarabi? They're on the hunt. Where's Sarabi? An asshole. Anyway, Zazu comes back to tell him that there's hyenas in the Pride Lands. They're on the hunt. Where's Sarabi? And then Mufasa fucks off. <laughs> that there's hyenas in the Pride Lands. They're on the hunt. Where's Sarabi? And then Mufasa fucks Man, it's like that that sire line is just Is that in my review even? <laughs> the buzz from the bee. Don't sing. The buzz from Holy shit, it's like it takes so long to talk about one scene. Uninterested. Sire! Yeah, at least it's in my review. I don't specifically call attention to it. Wow. Good morning, Zaz. This review is long Checking enough already. With the morning report. I can't. Away. In this remake, I can't Mufasa possibly. seems completely bored and uninterested. Sire! Sire! <laughs> Man. These lions don't look very realistic at all. You can't see their fucking balls. I am not a cop. It's like, what the hell, John Favreau? You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what a real lion looks like. <laughs> There's hyenas in the prime. Dad, let me come. I can help. <laughs> That's a funny line, yeah. I'm not a cub. The acting is just so fucking atrocious. Bobby. And then Mufasa fucks right. off. And I, I don't know if I've ever heard worse voice acting in a in an animated feature. I'm trying I'm trying really hard to think of a single other animated feature that has worse voice voice acting. But usually like usually animated features care about the voice acting, right? Cuz that's what the actors are doing is their voice acting. Usually they care about that. Um like if they have like a big celebrity name or something ratatouille that's barely a feature. <laughs> yeah, you can't just list video Brickendo movies as though that contradicts what I'm saying. Obviously, like, bootleg quality films are going to be worse. What I'm talking about is, like, actual movies. <laughs> With the other cubs. I am not a cub. All right, I guess John didn't like the slobber. The performance there is just not good. I'm not a cub. There's no, there's like no performance there. <laughs> like where where's the performance? The scene is long. What the fuck? Just like the movie becomes longer with these changes. I don't know why they think that's okay. <laughs> it's like turn it into a two hour movie for some reason. Like what? Why? It's so stupid. I hate the music here. Yeah, I don't know why this scene exists. I think it's just for this to like fucking trailer shot. This fucking thing right here. 
There he is. Thank you. This fucking trailer shot. It's like the most realistic the lion looks. Because, like, you don't see his mouth move. <laughs> I like I like how just like Simba just talks away from him again. Just so we can get him looking menacingly behind him. It's like what's Simba even looking at right now? Why do characters just do that in this movie? Just talk away from other people. He said I'm going to rule it all. Yeah, he doesn't talk about he this isn't like a hey Uncle Scar sort of thing. He literally the only reason he's talking about how his dad showed him the whole kingdom is because Scar was like, I don't babysit. I'm not a baby. My dad showed me everything. It completely changes the dynamic. Yeah, like, Simba clearly doesn't like Scar, right? Scar doesn't like, neither of these characters like each other. So how how is he able to manipulate how is Scar able to manipulate Simba if Simba doesn't even like him? You know? How weird is that? I don't like their mouth movement at all. When I'm king, I'll have to give you orders. Tell you what to do. How weird is that? It's just, it's, it never looks good when you're trying to do that computer animation. An elephant graveyard? Whoa. <laughs> uh, it's so annoying because like I'm trying to the way I make these reviews it's like I, I, I'm trying to present information in a way that's like concise right but they just take so long to communicate really simple basic things and somehow communicate less of it they take longer to say the same thing with less information that's given in the film. They spend a longer time communicating less information. It's just like the old boy shit. We are now half an hour through this hour and 40 minute long pile of garbage, meaning this entire boring captivity scene was 20 minutes long, whereas the original film communicated everything and so much more in just over 11 minutes. You spent twice as long trying to communicate this man's struggle in captivity, and you fucked up so bad that we barely feel it at all. How embarrassing. Like, you, sp you spend like twice as twice as long saying something and yet you're still missing crucial information that was in the original it's just so stupid see this is like this is frustrating to me because orally because i want to i want to be able to communicate this quickly too but it's a matter of like providing evidence for what i'm saying right so you have to like pick and choose your battles in a way so and I have to start the clip here because anything over ten seconds will be claimed. So I guess that decides it for me. And remember, it's like it doesn't work if you don't put in any effort to like properly communicate what you're saying. It just doesn't fucking work. You can't just you can't just like fart it out and pretend it works. An elephant graveyard? Whoa. Oops. In this remake, what a surprise. Everything is much more poorly communicated. At no point does Scar play on Simba's desires to be brave. He just tells him... You could make the argument that he does in the remake by just literally just by saying the words rotting bones and oozing mud. Like, haha, I know that he wants to do that because he wants to be brave. But it's just... the The communication is just so much more muddied. You know, it's just like, it's so much less clear what is happening in the scene. So like, technically, that's still kind of there. It's it's like, oh, it's only really decipherable if you've seen the original film, which was just everything was communicated so clearly. Because that's, that's the biggest difference is Scar, Scar, in the original Scar makes it so that, he he makes it so that Simba thinks that he's in control of the conversation when he's not. 
in the original, he, he manipulates Simba to the point where Simba is the one prodding Scar for information, saying, hey, what's out there? You got to tell me, blah, 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 blah. And then eventually Scar says, oh, an elephant graveyard. Oops. Like, like he makes Simba believe that he was the one that got that information out of him. But in the remake, it's literally just like, an elephant graveyard is no place. Literally, he just like, he didn't, he, he didn't, he didn't take you to the, this other place, did you? No, he said I can't go there. And he's absolutely right. The, an elephant graveyard is no place. So they just skip that entire part of the manipulation process. So at no point does Simba like pride Scar for information. Scar just tells him that. Yeah, that's, that's the, that's the biggest difference, I guess. I want like I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure that my arguments are airtight here and sometimes it's just a matter of how it's phrased right when it's like I mean the exact same thing but cuz I don't mean to say that there's literally no moment in the remake where they pretend as though cuz like Scar Scar's like oh dear I've said too much but it's like he doesn't he doesn't perform it. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> um, he doesn't pretend to mean it. He doesn't. He doesn't like pretend to withhold the information before he said it. So, like Scar in the original, he's like, "No, Simba, I won't tell you. I won't tell you. Oops, I accidentally told you." But in this, the the remake, he's literally just like, "Oh, here's this information. Oops." Like <laughs> there was there was nothing leading up to it. <laughs> like. The character design sucks so much. What is this, John? I hate you. It's so stupid, John. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that I'm still working on this. This is so exhausting. I hate I hate this so much. <laughs> Man. Just looking at so many pictures of people smiling. Like every photo. It's, I can't stand it. Because it's not a real smile. It's not a real, it's not like they just thought of something that made them happy. It's not like they thought of something that made them laugh. It's a fake smile for the camera. It's such a, it's such a weird human thing to do. To like, to, to, to be like, we're capturing a frame of this moment. Let's all, let's all emote in a way where, where we can look back on this moment and think that was a happy person. <laughs> right? It's so bizarre. It doesn't make any sense. I, I think that candid photography is the best. I like photography of real shit. I don't like posing. I don't like posing and smiling. I don't like making something fake for a moment. You know? If you want a picture of me, just take a fucking picture of me. If we're doing something cool, take a photo of the cool shit we're doing. If we're laughing and having fun, take a photo of that. Genuine, real memories are better. I don't think I would ever keep a photo in my house of, like... Like, it's so stupid. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's such a stupid human thing. Anyway, I'm looking for photos of Shahadi Wright Joseph right now. So give me a second. Right. She seems so much more down to earth than JD McCreary. She seems like she has so much more of a grasp on reality. She seems like an actual person. JD McCreary seems like trying not to bully here. He seems like somebody who's like going to go through like some gigantic traumatic ego death in the next like five years or be like like i either either he's going to go through an ego death and like completely change himself and be like holy shit my entire existence was a lie or or he'll he'll grow up being like you know how like nicholas like nick fuentes not to say that he would grow up to be like a white supremacist but you understand, like, you can watch Nick Fuentes and you understand, like, this is someone who's, like, so far gone that has, like, never been introspective at any point in their entire lives. And their entire, their entire life is, like, a performance, right? And they're so fucking far gone 
they're so fucking far gone into the performance that they can't come back. Right? Do you know what do you know what I mean by that? There's there's people like the the usually incredibly religious people. Nick Fuentes is one of them, where I'm like, I don't see a person, I see a performance. I d I don't see a person there. Like the, the the like everything I've seen of this person is like an act. I don't know where the real person is. Um So yeah, I I I you either grow old enough to become Nicholas J Fuentes or or you go through an ego death. <laughs> And like do mushrooms or something. <laughs> and realize that existence is a farce and start to become like a real person. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Just under Shahadi. Interesting. Man, to be like in Hollywood and just like show up in a booth and then like 10 other people like make your whole song for you fuck holy shit to just do that just like toss a bit of money like she didn't produce this zero chance she did that i didn't know she made music showing me off to your friends now this has 70 views. What the fuck? Does she even care? Like you can just you can just like do that and like not give like does she have a Twitter? Like she has a Twitter. She has 10,000 followers. Okay. So if she literally if she just tweeted out this one song that's been there since like July, it would have more than 70 views. Does she not give a shit? Of course it sounds like every other pop song because it's made the same way. All right, I was just looking for a clip of her singing because she was in the Broadway Lion King. You'd think that there would be a clip. I'm not going to click on this, but I just want you to all see this for a second. So my my search my Google my YouTube search was Shahadi Wright Joseph singing. That's what my search was. And I'm not very far down the page as you can see here. Look at what Oh my god, I'm not going to even hover over that. Simba kissing Nala. And then there's a fur affinity link in the YouTube description. I just want to point I just want to point out that that is right there on YouTube and now with the camera facing this way, I am going to investigate and see what this is. Interesting. Oh my god! Yeah, it's it. There, there is kissing happening here. Ah! Oh! All right. Well, uh, the animation could use some work. The it, its heart was in the right place, though. I'll just say that. But the animation could use a bit of work. Uh, okay. I haven't seen this video before. Why not? I just stumbled across something new. There's always there's always shit I haven't seen. You know. Oh, that's so funny. I heard I heard just can't wait to be gay at the end. Yes, and the soundtrack is out now where you get to hear us sing just can't wait to be gay. <laughs> uh, that's why that's why her, she was wearing the pride flag. Hi guys, thanks for watching. My five dollar nut patrons are Lemonade Warrior, Eric Bordeaux, Eric Hoofnagel, Billy, Olivia Spores, Dana. Ocean Machinery, Malav Shah, Mechadong, Brendan Stuper, and Pitt Wang. Stay safe out there.